sitting almost at 41% completion percentage. Here we back are at Red Dead Redemption 2. Last time we chased some kids around. This time? I have no idea. I don't ever know what I'm doing. So, we do have a strange. Is it two stranger quests? I know I need to do like 10 of those, so. Let's, uh. Check out the slum area over here. Ah, excuse me, bud. What do you want? What? <laughs> Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. You know, strong liquor. Over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. There's plenty of real booze here. But for shine, well, I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Of you shine? Yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> hundred gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Hundred just, just gallons of moonshine. Where well, the heck are you supposed to get a hundred gallons of moonshine out of this world? Kind of okay. It'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. Okay, out and well, we're no, kind of not wanted in Rhodes, so let's not uh, go to Rhodes. Okay. Look out! Let me get rid of my, uh, accordions. Help, holy. Alright. Poor in good shape. Morning, mister. This door? Yeah. Oh, this guy. Hey, buy me a drink, mon ami. Huh? Hello. Sure, what you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Oh. Thank you. Santé. <laughs> ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Hmm? I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. Mm -hmm. How very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very French. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, all ass. Mm? Asshole. Mm, that too. That too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No. I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> I just yeah, yeah, but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris. No. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Mmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Hmm? I guess so. Mm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles, you know Arthur? Don't believe in art. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. They're the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina, Whoa. that is truth. Breasts is truth. Art, it's for idiots. If you say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better, much better. <laughs> <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little... Uh. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm, no matter. 
Good meeting you. Mm. Uh, okay. Random stranger mission is random. Oh, it's eight bucks. I am not inspecting that document. No offense, guys. All right, we have two people that want missions. And I want to do some challenges today, but we'll see. What the heck is that stuff? Is that simple? I go in this way? No. I probably need to go up the front. Ooh. Now day to you. You're getting robbed, mister. Give me everything you got. Are you deaf or stupid? Hand it over now! We'll take it then! Well, you taking this you damn thing? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Don't mind me. Oh, this don't make I'm gonna be too oh, thin wrong for this. Mm. No, not too mess with snakes. Ah. Hey, low man, get over here! Mm. The dog can have what's left to you. Well, this was not what we were supposed to do. Could I please we need the police. You rattled my cage enough. Hey, you in there? Uh, trouble days are good. Well, we're gonna get in trouble for this one. Yes, sir. Uh. Dang, this guy can fight. Is this what you say? You... Well, while we're here, I'm to be recognized. I'm gonna enjoy huh? robbing you, tough guy. Hand it over. Oh, now, you... damn it. Okay, now we need all the That's it. Area. I'm through with you! Freak, you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> kind of hard to do this bandit challenge when you can't do the bandit challenge. Help! Somebody! Help me! God damn it! He told me this is Wait right there! I need to speak to you! Oh, crap! Well, Gun surrenders okay. get this over with. Damn, I'm bringing you in one way or the other. Come on. Really didn't think this through, did you? All right, I just did that to show you how to rob somebody and fail to rob people. You know, that's how you do things here in the Wild West. Got to skip. Okay, I guess not. I didn't do anything on purpose while I'm in there. It's bad thing. Oh, 16 bucks? Oh, no. Alright, let's go visit Dutch, because Dutch is always the way. The show here. It's another freaking. Okay, what game? This is ridiculous. I love it. Let's do this stranger quest too while we're at. Excuse me, sir. Can I bother you for a minute oh, of no. your time? What do you want? Alright. Can I tell you a little about what we're doing here? Sure. Less than a minute, I promise. Go. Uh, we're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall. A shelter for homeless veterans and their families. Can you help? A donation of Twenty dollars would put us well on our way. Can I do more than twenty dollars? Twenty dollars ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. Okay, this is 
Such a weird episode because I feel like I've done nothing but a lot done at the same time. Dang it, Dutch, you're held the way over there. How are you today? Eh, we'll just this bring it there. Just one thing. I feel like I'm actually close to max level sprint anyway. <laughs> Hi guys! There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much, just these some slick little greasy haired European. Clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll oh no. We're gonna charm? Me. This the place? <clears throat> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Yeah. Huh. Run along now, boy. Dying gangsters. This is the mob. Oh my gosh. Is that special Dutch out. charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. A mob. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Doorbell shotgun. Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Can I kill these guys now? Indeed you have. Now. We are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent oh. bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> that is a very stiff woman. Wait, what? Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. What happened? Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Mars. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> okay. But, uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Oh, of course I know, you would not want that, huh? No. No, 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 so how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? 
couple of people have taken to grave robing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, well, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> I don't like this. There's something Salute. Salute. amiss. I don't want to mount my horse. I want to. So hold on, before I do anything, did I do literally just do three strange or two stranger missions? Yeah, I'm at 41% now. Yeah, it was like at two or three to, well, before I started this. That's awesome. Come on, Marston. What are you doing? Horse to go in circles. Come on, then. Where are we even going? A big you know where the cemetery is? Oh yeah, we're gonna I think so. Yeah. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaites were gonna hold Jack Branson. For all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaites left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done, and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Look how massive okay. the cemetery. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. Can I rob that guy first? I need five more robs. <laughs> get him! Can't you control that damn horse? I need cra I need to show my stamina apparently. There we go. Of course, good shape. Oh, those are candy. Those are crackers. Oh well. What do I have? Eight. This way. There's the cemetery for grave robbers. All right. Let's see what's going on in here. Stay quiet. We don't want to spook them. That's a mausoleum. That's my first thought. Someone already cleaned this one out. Hey, I need that. Oh! I need those. I need those. I know, but you won't care once we get the boy back. That bastard better keep his word. And keep it down. Don't want him to bolt it on us. You saw that, right? Shooting the place up. That would always work for me. Give me opposition. I was hoping he would like go his own way and tell me. Strange jobs, Morgan. But this one. Hey there. 
there, boy. Come on, let's keep on them. One of these days I'll figure out a card set. Stop. Another crazy lady that was around. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I had a bit to drink. Your friend. Died. They can hear us, you know. They're the still heck with is his us. mission? You should get yourself home. Okay, so that crazy lady is just crazy. Oh god, I gotta find the stash? Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty handed. Let's have to look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robbing grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Why is it over there? Why can't it be the way I'm facing? Alright, so that should be pretty easy. Like I said, let's look around where they jumped. It's in here. I think there might be something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. The law's here? Lock. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it. Let's go around the side. Follow John, right? 
Oh my gosh, it's like so many red dots. Stick with me. Oh, you moved on. I went that way. I was supposed to go that way. Oh, there's two more. The I think we lost. Come on, quick! Let's get back to time. Oh, that was a lot easier well, than I anticipated. It's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You alright? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Well, let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. Isn't it like 6 a.m.? I like got arrested, met everybody. I got and I was like, most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, we'll just see where we're at once we got Jack. Oh, there's the count. Well, you took your time. Where's your host? Like I said. You took your what? time. What? Well, I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank you Mr. Bronte you for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. Hey. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Yeah. This is a, a weird turn of events. Okay. All right. Let's get this boy back I really to expected mother. this to be like a long you chain sure of getting okay, it back. Son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but <laughs> it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. The kid legitimately sounds like he had fun. Real good to see you, Jack. You too, Uncle Arthur. Did you catch the bad guys? Which ones? At the graveyard. Uncle Dutch and Papa Bronte told me. Just Mr. Bronte. Yeah. Me and your pa deal with him. I told him you would. Wait till you see this new camp. Not another one. Well, this one's got a house. Not as nice as Mr. Bronte's, mind you. That's okay. We'll get you settled and cleaned up in no time. Oh, I had a bath last night. Huh? Of course you did. Kinda jealous. Kid had a good life for a little bit. 
have a weird feeling like there's got to be some kind of catch to this mission. Like, no, no catch. Abigail, Abigail, we got you, your son, everything. We got him, Mama. He's fine. I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Judge Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back. <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, <laughs> thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? <sighs> so, well... We met Mr. Bronte. Hmm. He is, uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> well, that we went got Jack a lot Jack. better than well, I expected. I thought there'd be a whole chapter. Thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. What a weird turn of events. Hey, Alright guys, out. next time on Red Dead Redemption 2. Go do more Red Dead Redemption 2 stuff. I'll see you then. We're sitting at 41.5. 7, even better.